Hi there Pisces, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and great to speak to you. We're looking at February 15 through 21. And of course Pisces, the sun moves into your sign on Friday. So happy birthday to those Pisces having their birthday early this week, uh, later this week, early in the Pisces uh, allotment. You know that you're a cusper on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces and Cindy Crawford and Rihanna are both born on the 19th of February and uh, you know being that they're both born well, one's born in the Bahamas one in the US uh, they could there's a lot of you know chance that they are very much cuspers and so it's really always very interesting if you for you to read both signs if you're an early Capricorn uh, sorry Pisces Venus follows on the heels of Mercury on Tuesday, moving into edgy Aquarius. So Venus and Mercury are both in Aquarius, your 12th house of past karma and subconscious. Now with Venus in this unconventional and independent sign, think girl with the dragon tattoo, the challenge over the next month is figuring out how to be free and stay in a loving space. Meaning, if you're in a relationship, not feeling suffocated by that relationship. I think Valentine's Day, with all the expectation that goes with it for people, especially people in a new relationship who are nervous about, is, is he going to get do anything? Is he going to make any plans? Should I make plans? Or is she going to think this is too much or that I'm coming on too strong or too little, that I'm not doing enough, that I'm cheap? Like, I know there's a lot of angst and now it's gone. You don't have to worry about it for 300 and 60 days so let's not worry about it so it's big so now the challenge is figuring out how to be in a loving relationship but also having your own life and I think it's very very important I can't stress enough to my clients that just because they've got a partner and just because they're you know part of a couple doesn't mean that they don't have their own identity anymore and that they should lose sight of that and not hang out with their friends and not be part of other groups and associations. Not to meet other people, but simply to have your own personality, your own voice, your own friends. I think it's very, very important. And I think sometimes your personality, because you are sensitive and emotional and a psychic sponge and you absorb a lot of what's going on around you, your personality can get pushed aside a little bit for other people's personality and that's not right. Stay true to you, what you feel good about, what you don't feel good about and make sure that your partner appreciates that and that there's no manipulation or control issues going on because that won't work for you long term. At first it's kind of nice, oh he's possessive, he doesn't want me to do this or she doesn't want me to hang out with the boys, she wants me all to herself but that wears off really quick. So just make sure that you've got a nice balance there. Have a great week. Happy birthday to those of you who are celebrating this weekend. And I'll speak to you again next week.